What's up, Geek Girl World? This is Ari. Welcome to Unboxings. Guess what I got? It is the new BAM box. Ba BAM! Although, this is still pretty thin. <laughs> so, we'll see what we have in here. I don't know. I, like I said in my Geek Girl Daily, I was disappointed in November's BAM box, and this was going to be the deciding factor whether or not I cancel the BAM box going forward. So let's see, hopefully this will have some better stuff in it. So open it up. Here's what we have. This is a spoiler booklet. It's Legends for December. Get some tissue paper out of the way. And you can see here is what we have inside. So we put the spoiler booklet aside. And this velvet pouch looks kind of nice. A little linty, but still kind of nice. What, what do we have in here? <laughs> Some daggers. Perfect point. Hmm. So you can see... Ooh, we. These look kind of. Sh I think I. These are pretty sharp. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see that very clearly. I mean, they've got some nice braiding on the handle. That's some real braiding, not like, like, uh, etched fake braiding, and they're stainless steel made in China, and they're. They seem to be very sharp. Like, no joke. You could actually hurt yourself with these. So, yeah. Daggers. I wonder what that is about. Because I don't recognize the fandom for that. Um, Captain America is on the pen for this month. Say, hey girl. You guys can see that. And then we have... Let's see, have some artwork. Oh, Marvel number one variant edition. This is Vader down. Wow, is this signed? Cause there, I know there's a certificate of authenticity on the back. Dynamic Forces Inc. has issued this certificate to authenticate this copy of Star Wars Vader down number one Dynamic Forces exclusive cover as one of the specially limited series of 1500 copies. So, you have like the seal from Dynamic Forces and the Certificate of Authenticity. And I guess this is one of the 15,000 copies that were printed. It doesn't say which uh, number I have, but and it's not signed. But this is nice though. This is nice still. Then we have Red Sonia. And this one's actually signed. This is a Bandbox exclusive signed edition Amy Chu. This is Amy Chu and Carlos Gomez Red Sonia comic. So you can see that there. And it says Dynamic Entertainment has issued this certificate to authenticate this copy of Red Sonia's number zero Bandbox exclusive edition as one of the specially signed limited edition copies by Amy Chu. So here you go, certificate of this authenticity. Ooh, what's this? This is signed and it's a samurai. And it has the BAM box certificate of authenticity on here too. Here we go. And this I got 42 out of 500. I don't know what the samurai who the samurai is. Pretty nice piece of artwork. It's on a board, it's on a, a art board. And I got 40, 482 out of 500 and it's signed by someone. So we'll find out in the spoiler booklet. And then we have, ooh, what is this? I don't recognize this. <laughs> it's obviously a movie still from something. I don't recognize it at all, but we'll know in the spoiler booklet. 
And it's a certified Bambox signature, of course. So let's turn to our spoiler booklet to find out more about what we got. And you can see on the cover, it's kind of like Vader blending into Red Sonia. And then on the back, it's, it looks like Winter Soldier and uh, Boba Fett there. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. For the artwork. So, the Bambox exclusive BAM parody pins from artist Nick Kakaza, who they do a lot of um, work with Nick. He's back again. We had some fun ideas for this month's pin and knew Nick was the artist to be able to pull it off. Most will get the Hey Girl or Winter is Coming pins, but watch out for a limited edition set popping up in some boxes. These are especially limited and numbered out of 250. So here's pictures of all the pins that you could have gotten and you could have gotten the set of Hydra, I guess, and it's numbered out of 250. So let me know if you got the set of Hydra or if you got the winner is coming one in the comments below. I of course got the Hey Girl from Captain America. Dynamic Forces is proud to present Vader Down number one, a DF exclusive by artist Olivier Coppel. When Vader accidentally finds himself facing off against the Rebel fleet on his own, Rebels will learn the true strength of the dark side of the Force. Limited to only 15,000 released, look for the black and white cover limited to only 5,000 released. So I, of course, did not get the black and white cover. I got the one that's limited to 15,000. But let me know in the comments below if you got the black and white cover. Which sir, it doesn't look like there's much difference to it. Then next we have Start Your Own Legend Set. Every legend begins with a story, and every story involves a person, most often encountering some sort of peril. Whether on their own or part of a team, they're faced with a decision, and in that decision, either with acts of bravery or deceit, they become a legend. And what do most legends have in common? They need a way to battle, attack, or defend. And so we gave you your own magical purple pouch with the ability to do just that. Become a legend today. And side note, these are letter openers and are not made for actual battle, real or imaginary. They are to be used as collector's items. The BAM box assumes no responsibility for injury, damage, or loss incurred by use of this or any of our products. <laughs> Okay, so some of you may have gotten some swords. I, of course, got the two twin daggers. My pouch wasn't very purple, though. It was black, but anyway. <laughs> then we have the Bambox exclusive signed and numbered Galactic Samurai art print by artist Brian Reedy. Now, there is a limited edition black and white of only 500 and yeah, there's two different limited edition black and whites of only 500 actually. This month features an amazing artist in Brian Reedy. Reedy is a Miami based artist who specializes in wood and lino box prints. We wanted to bring some of that look and feel this month to the BAM box. With his unique style, he mashed space and samurai together. You will receive one out of the four possible prints. There are two color versions and up to black and white versions. The black and white versions are limited run of 500 each. Reedy's work has been exhibited in museums and galleries throughout the United States and has been featured in major international art fairs such as Gramercy in NYC, Scope in Miami, and Bridge in Chicago. And you can see here the different pieces of artwork you could have received. I of course got the one here that has his swords crossed. I got the black and white limited edition of that one, so that was pretty cool. So next month's BAM box is anniversary. Don't miss the most epic BAM box yet. We are celebrating our one year anniversary, and to say thank you to everyone, we are going to bring back some of our favorite items and artists. This month's print will feature favorite artists Rocky Davies and Chris Uminga. The one-of-a-kind animations will make their appearance in this box, but this time as actual cells from varying shows. We have some other items going in as well, and we are really excited about it. 
Oh, almost forgot we had a couple of really special studio quality hockey masks made just for this box to be signed. I think it's safe to say the item everyone loved the most over last year's was the Ari Lehman signed hockey mask. Is it possible to improve on this item? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the time that I really fell in love with the band box. So, of course, I... Um, you can see that next month's theme is anniversary. So, yeah, I, I do have to say that was one of my favorite items in the band box ever was the signed hockey mask. Then we have the exclusive Red Sonia number no. 0 cover signed by writer Amy Chu. The barbarian legend She-Devil with a sword faces a whole different world and challenges in this new adventure written by Amy Chu and drawn by Carlos Gomez. Every cover is hand signed by writer Chu and includes a dynamite COA. Look for a special silver signed edition numbered out of 100 and a gold signed edition numbered out of 50. In addition, look for randomly inserted signed incentive covers. Oh, okay. So here's a picture of the cover, and it's black signed. I didn't look to see. my. Yeah, mine is a black signed cover, so I did not get the limited edition one. Then we have the exclusive signing with Sarah Gray, who is Stargirl from Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, okay. I totally got spoiled on that because I am not caught up with Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> but that's okay. That's fine. We have to be honest. The Golden Age Supergroup, known as the JSA, Justice Society of America, appearing on DC's Legends of Tomorrow was one of the things we were most excited for this TV season. For those of you not as familiar with the Justice Society of America or are wondering if it's the same as the Justice League of America, there are some really great articles you could find that will say it better than we can. And so you can imagine how excited we were to have actress Sarah Gray, who plays JSA member Stargirl in Legends of Tomorrow, in this month's BAM box. And that excitement leveled up when we heard of JSA's spin-off rumors on the CW. You can also catch Sarah this March in the upcoming Power Rangers movie as Amanda. Ah, so that's pretty cool. No wonder I didn't recognize her because I haven't caught up that far with Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> then they also have a giveaway. When this licensed and authentically detailed reproduction of Andril, the actual prop sword built by Weta Workshop of New Zealand and used by Aragon, King of Gondor in Lord of the Rings, measuring over four feet long. This sword is incredible. To win, simply take a picture with your favorite item from the BAM box and post it to one of the social sites below using hashtag the BAM box so we can find you. Winner announced January 8th. And then they also have straight out of the BAM box. You can go to the BAM box forward slash community and trade your items. So there you have it. So, um, this is very art heavy and I'm not really an art collector person like I do like the comics like I'm I, I like the Vader comic um not so thrilled about Red Sonja I mean I do have a Red Sonja pop that I picked up at um Com Kamikaze or LA Comic Con but yeah um I think I'm going to just stay my execution <laughs> And, and wait until the anniversary box. And then I'll make a decision then. But yeah, I mean, it looks like the band box is going towards a different, um, you know, a different uh, way of thinking or a, a subscription path that I'm not really, as, as a subscription box person, is not something that I'm really into. But if you're really into, like, if you're really into signed art pieces, then that's good. Like, I, I do like signed art pieces, and I think that if you're going to include art in a box, it should be signed. But I don't, I'm not necessarily in favor of a box that's going to be heavily signed artwork or heavily signed comics. And this is, it seems kind of what the band box is going towards. I don't know. I'm going to wait until the anniversary box, see what they have, and then I'll make a decision then. 
But let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, visit our website, geekgirlworld.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more unboxings. Bye!